Be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. What's going on? Christian Miller here, linebacker of the Carolina Panthers. Just want to give a huge shout out to Keep Pounding TV. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Appreciate all y'all's support. Everybody go subscribe right now to the YouTube channel, Keep Pounding TV. I'm rolling with the big cat. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm your host, like Renly Gato, also known as the big cat. My cool guys, put your paws up. If you're rocking with the big cat today, we're going to talk about the Carolina Panthers final Final, final, final mock draft. This is the last one, y'all, before the big one. But first, we get started. Do you love the Carolina Panthers? Like I love the Carolina Panthers. Yes, no, maybe. Do you love the Carolina Panthers? Like I love the Carolina Panthers. Y'all love it, don't you? If you love the Carolina Panthers, like I love the Carolina Panthers, put your balls up. Final mock draft, y'all. How's it going down? Is it on till it's gone? I got to know now. Let's get into it. Ooh. <laughs> Oh! Before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Again, real quick, man, if y'all watching it, man, you know, you're here for a reason. You like what you see, man, whether it's entertainment, whether it's knowledge, whatever, you're here for a reason. Hit the subscribe button. Please do that. Turn your notification bell to always so you don't miss a video, y'all. Share it. Love the content. And we appreciate your support. Also, Patreon. Head over to Patreon. Type in the word keep pounding underscore TV. You'll find our channel. We got a bunch of different packages. We got a uh, uh, exclusive content. We got um, early access to the YouTube video. A lot of you guys don't want to wait till our premiere videos. You can get them early if you sign up with us over at the right tier. Uh, gaming, quizzes, giveaways, all kind of stuff. Keep pounding TV, Patreon. We thank you for your support. Now, with that being said, oh, also be sure to check out the rest of the links uh, in the description and all the sponsors in the description if you guys are interested, all right? Now, with that being said, we're here to do the final mock draft. If you look up on your screen right here, look, man, I mean, I would like to say that there's going to be some kind of ruffle with the top two, but I don't think there will be. To me, it's an open and shut case. Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson. Things get very interesting at number three. Niners, I'm hearing a lot. I'm hearing a lot of buzz about a lot of different things here. Um, a lot of people think it's, uh, Justin Fields is an open and shut case. They think it's a slam dunk. I personally don't think it's a slam dunk. Now with the epilepsy thing, I think teams are kind of uh, uh, kind of hesitant there. I'm not going to say they're going to make a too big of a deal of it. Obviously, he played a full college uh, career, and he also had a high school career. So, you know, doctors saying that he may grow out of it. I don't know. It's just one of these things that just is tricky, y'all. I think they take their time. You know, I don't know what they get, two minutes on the clock, three minutes on the clock. I think they're going to use all that shit up, five minutes, whatever it is. And um, ultimately, you know, I know a lot of you people saying Mac Jones and his ability to throw, but ultimately, I think they go with Trey Lance here, y'all. Trey Lance has been buzzing as of late, red hot. Uh, his last two two pro days, he's looked efficient, looks sharp. It's a little bit of a project there, man, but... Again, with the medical situation kind of popping up late here that he brought up, you know, Justin Field brought it up on his own. Um, you know, I think they just read to be safe, you know what I mean? And Trey Lance, who I do believe has a ceiling. I didn't listen, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying before you say something. I think his ceiling, I mean, if he works out, he develops right, I think his career ceiling could be a Russell Wilson. You know what I mean? That's the kind of guy I think. But, um, you know, who knows? You, you know, just too early to tell. Now, with that out the way, the fourth pick. This is where the draft really begins. Justin Fields is on the board. You got uh, Penny Tool. You got Kyle Pitts there. Those are their three targets right there that they're really looking at. Again, I told you guys, I'm, I live in Georgia down here. And um, off the blank is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly loyal to his players, man. I mean, he loves his players. He takes care of his players. Not a bad owner. I'm not going to, you know, we can clown the Falcons. I hate the shit out of Falcons. But they got a great owner there. And off the blanks. And the reason why I'm using uh, bringing that all up is because I think he has loyalty to Matt Ryan. You know what I mean? You know, I don't think he would want to bring in there and bring it, make him answer questions about competitions and backups and stuff. So to me, I think they pass on Justin Fields here. Not because of any medical thing. I just think that he has loyalty. Now, it really comes down to two people, y'all. Penny Swool and Kyle Pitts. You know, so now that you passed on it, now that you passed on Fields. Do you want to give him a weapon or do you want to give him uh, some protection? So, you know, they did go off of the line uh, a couple times last year, and I think the year before, if I'm not mistaken. So this time I think they go with a prolific weapon and get Kyle Pitts, y'all. So Kyle Pitts is off the board, and 
Uh, Trey Lance is off the board, so that, that leaves uh, Penny Spool, Jamar Chase, and Justin Phil on the board. Obviously, I think the Bengals, man, as much as they would uh, like to protect Joe Burrow, you know what I mean, which is a smart move there, they need somebody to throw to. You know, I think they just lost A.J. Green here. They don't really have any prolific weapons up there. So I think they'll go Jamar Chase easily. Um, I think they do take a second look at Penny Swole. And, I, and listen, I wouldn't be surprised if they did go Penny Swole here, but um, I don't think it's going to happen. But again, it, it wouldn't catch me off guard because uh, he needs both. He needs, you know, Cincinnati needs a lot of different things, protection and they need weapons. But for the sake of this final mock draft, I'm going to say Cincy goes up and get um, Jamar Chase. Now, with that being said, y'all, Guess who's on the board? <laughs> the Miami Dolphins, the busy Miami Dolphins, and I think they're going to trade this pick away. They've been looking to trade back, and guess who they're going to trade it to? One of the guys we're supposed to be trading with during draft day, which I don't believe. If you look up on your screen right here, y'all, you'll see Chris Greer, who's the general manager for the Miami Dolphins, and George Patton, who's the general manager for the Broncos, are good friends and used to be colleagues had a conversation um, recently, and uh, one of the conversations was about trading out to the ninth pick. So I think that could be a real, real reality for us, y'all. So with the ninth, with the sixth pick, the Miami Dolphins trade away, uh, excuse me, the Denver Broncos trade away the ninth pick. They trade away a third round, they trade away a fifth round, and they trade away a second round next year to get the six picks in the front of Miami Dolphins. And I think they jump up to get Justin Fields. That's right. I think he's going to Denver. And um, what does that mean, man? I mean, that pretty much leaves Detroit Lions with Penny Swool on the board. Penny Swool is on the board. We got a chance. What do we do? The Detroit Lions possibly could trade back here. You know, I know a lot of people think that Mac Jones, you know, how far he's going to slide. Could the Patriots jump up ahead of us and try to get Mac Jones? Could the Lions take Penny Swool? You know what I mean? They need left tackle. You know what I mean? But they also need wide receivers and stuff as well. They lost Galladay. You know what I mean? They got Hawkinson at tight end. You know what I mean? They got DeAndre Swift at running back. They got a quarterback here. Again, this is the good old question that I just asked you guys against the Cincinnati Bengals. Do you take weapons or do you take protections here? And here, I think they get Jared Goff for weapons. I think they go to Alabama and get the speedster. Jalen Waddle. <laughs> and Panther Nation goes fucking crazy. Woo! We got our tackle! We got our tackle! Yeah! No longer bow. No more chains holding me. My soul is resting. We got some protection. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Yes, we're free. That's right. The Carolina Panthers get a gift. Because the stupid ass Lions. <laughs> stupid fucking Lions take a wide receiver, which I do believe. And the Carolina Panthers get Penny Swole. No Brandon open and shut case. As you guys said, uh, as you guys checked out my other video, I said that uh, he's number one on the big board. And realistically, y'all, I can see this happening. I can see this happening. I can see it happen. You know, I think Justin Fields will go to six. You know what I mean? And I think Denver comes calling. I think they're going to give up a nice little package there. Um, can the Lions realistically pass on Penny Swool? I can see that. I can see that, man. I can see them taking him as well. I'll put it to you like this. If Penny Swool is taken by the Detroit Lions, we trade back. We get out of there. We got to get out of there. If you look on your screen right here, they trade back and, and you know what I mean? I mean, they get they get a penny swool. Got a Slater there, y'all. Got Pat Sertain. You know, I just, uh, I just, you know, I told you guys, I'm going to say it again. I like these guys, but I'm not in love with these guys. And at the eighth pick, you need to be in love with whatever you're going to do. So maybe trade back with the Patriots or something to where we, uh, you know, they get Mac Jones and we get their pick and we get JC uh, J, uh, J. Horn. So, but ultimately, y'all, I honestly believe that there's a strong possibility that it could play out like this. Strong possibility. Um, yeah, he's going to Denver, man. And I think uh, we get our guy 
Fingers crossed. So I'm your host, Uncle Rene Gato, also known as the Big Cat. My cool cat, put your paws up. If you're rocking with the Big Cat, what do you guys think, man? This looks like some reality shit, man. Trevor Lawrence, number one. Zach Wilson, number two. Trey Lance, number three. Kyle Pitts, number four. Jamar Chase, five. Justin Fields, six to Denver. Detroit Lions get Jay Lawada. And the Panthers get uh, Penny Swoo. And I'm ordering my jersey. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, hit the Patreon. Look at all the links in the description for all the sponsors if you guys are interested in any of those. Um, again, Monday, we may go live. May go live. But again, it's going to be a busy week, so I'm going to try to rest up most of the week. I will kick out some videos for you guys uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You know, it's going to be full go. I need my staff, my moderators and stuff. We need to be ready to go, man. Get you some Red Bull chicken wings and... Uh, Let's get ready to party, man. Let's get up out of here. Let the church say, pause up. Carolina on top forever. I'd like to take the time to thank the Keep Pounding underscore TV Patreon membership sponsors below. It is because of your contribution we have to create quality content. Please consider joining the channel. The link will be in the description. Don't miss out on your chance for watching morning live streams, film study, and much more. Ryan Wright, The Introduction, new EP available on all major streaming platforms, including the hot new feature, In My Bag. Quit renting energy and dealing with increasing rates. Get paid to go solar through federal and local tax credits. Own your energy. Add home equity. Fix rates that will never go up. No money down. A vote of power, now serving all of North and South Carolina. Tell them you've seen this ad on Key Pounder TV. They'll give you one year free, no payments. Be sure to contact the affiliate rep, Kevin Browns, at kbrown at avolta.us. His contact will be in the description. SeatGeek. For all your ticketing events, from sporting to concert guidings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek. The smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code. Ladies, be sure to check out Tori Bell Cosmetics. Shop with the ambassador and affiliate Sabrina Francis. Her link is below. For all your cosmetical needs, from eyeliners to lip gloss to eyelash bling, they got everything you need. Check the link in the description below. Fellas, do you have a beard like Big Cat? You tired of your shit looking like Anthony Hamilton? Okay. Patches all in it. Check out Trishana's Blue Sapphire Oils. Help moisturize and restore health back to your beard. Trishana Jones Oils, Blue Sapphire. The link is in the description below. Be sure to check out On The Life Show Radio. Check out the latest Christian hip-hop slash R&B. Be sure to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hi, I'm the Big Cat. Pause up! You're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve.